Hey, happy Oons Day, everyone. We're bringing back the food challenge. You might recognize this from the Kentucky Derby race. This is where we had the horses on top of the candles and they all raced down to the finish line. You got to play along and place your bets. Well, tonight it's gonna be food. It's gonna be nuts versus nuts. Hazelnuts, pecans, walnuts, peanuts, cashews, and almonds. Who's gonna win? Pick your winner now. We also are bringing back the pick four lottery. Choose your number, four in a row. You can put it in the comment section now. We have some chicken feeders. Inside are different assortment of treats, cookies, peanuts, dog food, cat food. We have the cute little lemur and the baby cradle. Got a crate here on wheels moving around. Got some peanuts hidden in there. We're gonna see what they go for and in what order. Little gizmo right here too. No one showed up. Pretty soon they'll be here. All right, let's go. Here we go, the first visitors of the night. Looks like Cleopatra and her babies. She's gonna check out the milk crate. I got a box on top with a couple holes with some food in there. Nervous Nelly's here. Nervous Nelly has a baby. I think she has a couple. Well, it looks like the baby's gonna start the lottery off. Maybe not. So underneath the balls are marshmallows cut in half. And they're kind of sticking to the ball. I'm making it a challenge to get that marshmallow out. It's hard to get that paw underneath that big ball. Okay, there we have it, number five. First number in the pick four lottery. These little guys are starting to work on the nuts. Okay, we got number four. Number four is next. Five, then four. Number zero is third. Okay, number seven. We have all the numbers of the pick four lottery. Five, four, zero, seven. Hope you won. You get a baby of your choice. Well, it looks like peanuts are the favorite so far. So at the very bottom of the candle is a thin green line. And if you'll see the red line, that's the finish. When that candle crosses that line, that will be the declared winner in the nuts versus nuts. It's funny, it's dead silent here, and then within about 10 minutes, you got a dozen raccoons and it's a ton of action. They just all seem to come at once. Where they come from, I have no idea. That one's loving cashews. I totally get that, I love cashews.
cutie pie. Who eats some nuts? Doesn't always have to be cookies. You like the pecans? Yeah. But peanuts are in the lead. Looks like peanuts are going to win this thing outright. Mr. Wiener found the hazelnuts. He's like my wife. He likes those filberts. Not me. Hey. That loud mouth scared everyone. So that over there is a contraption I built for the chipmunks and the squirrels. Got a little uh, jar that they go into. They gotta go through a hole to get into it. And he just pulled out the jar. And it was very loud and off they went. Uh, here comes Cutie back. They'll be back soon. Mr. Wiener, the lottery's over with. Well, that's pretty interesting. Cutie smell every nut and she chose the uh, hazelnuts, just like Mr. Wiener. They are related. Sister and brother. There you go. You have your cookie. You happy? Doesn't have any cream in it. It's an animal cookie. I should stay away from the cookies so she focuses on the game. Well, if one just stays trained on that peanut tube, it is going to cross the finish line pretty soon. We're about an inch away. It's an equal amount in each tube, one cup exactly. One thing the peanuts have going for it is they're the tiniest. So they kind of drop down the easiest. The pecans are huge and you really have to, to work them to get that candle to drop. But then again, there's fewer of them. Getting close with the peanuts. That is just about to cross the finish line. Maybe go play the game. So in this little box here I have Fruit Loops and that's what the babies want. Maybe over there go have some cashews. Do you want to eat my finger? Come on cutie you can do it. Oh yeah. Peanuts cross the line, right in that back corner. You could see it cross the finish line. Hey, hey, we have a champion in the nuts. Spanish peanuts. Let's see who comes in second, who comes in third. Look at Cleo, king of the mountain. She's on top of the milk crate, and on top of the milk crate is a box, and in the box are some holes, and in the holes are a bunch of goodies. So one thing I noticed when I'm filming these events, is when they show up, they bring the mosquitoes with them. Because there'll be no mosquitoes, they're here, and then all of a sudden, I'm swarmed. Looks like the pecans are getting close. thinking oh boy that's right on the line yeah on that back corner you could see it did cross the finish line pecans second place
Okay, Mama Moira showed up. I tossed a couple peanuts down there to get her over to play the game. Now, she played a big role in the Kentucky Derby race. She was kind of the boss of the tubes, and she was pushing people out of the way. Let's see if she plays a little nicer this time. Uh-oh, she's got her sass back. Moira, you got a little gray patch starting on the top of your head, you old lady. I got your tail. I can still horse around with you. Okay, go over there. Go find some hazelnuts. She doesn't want to play yet, so it looks like Cleopatra's the only one playing, and one of her babies. Moira, you're missing the good stuff. Oh, what's in there though? Oh boy. Yeah. Here's a baby that always likes to run in by me for protection. Something spooks him and that baby flies in and right into my lap. Which I'd like. I don't know what scared him. It's always something. And then they come down and they're back at it in no time. Okay, Cleopatra's working on the cashews. She might take that one to third place. It's real close. Oh yeah. Okay, there we have it. Third place goes to cashews. If it was me playing the game, that would have been number one. Well, we got something interesting here. Cleo has five babies, and I count it six, and Moira's the only other female here, and I was quite convinced Moira had no babies. Or well, she hiding them off. Now that number six went down the line. Moira, are you a mama? I just said the other day you weren't. I am not positive. She does have uh, some swollen teats. She might be a mama again, which would be awesome. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's see eyes number six. Moira, look at over there. Okay, here, Moira. There you go. You're a special mama. Are you a mama again? Or was that Nervous Nelly's babies that was hanging out with you? Because you're grandma. I am confused. I need to see a baby right next to you, just pinned to you to know. I do not know. So Moira had five last year. She had Mr. Wiener, she had Silly Boy, she had Mishka, she had Cutie, and she had Skittish. Now, Cutie and I are real close. Mr. Wiener and I are real close. Silly, and, Silly Boy and I were super close, and he's just missing in action. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Skittish, so-so. Mishka, haven't seen Mishka in forever. Don't know what's up with Mishka. I gotta say, she's acting a little funny, though. She uh, keeps paying attention down by the shed what's going on. Here she goes. She's going to check on something. Yeah, maybe she has a baby down there. I don't know. Cleo, one of yours is missing. Where's number five? Moira. Are you trying to steal one of Cleo's babies? Is that what's going on? Is that number five over there? Or is that yours? I can't keep track. There's way too many babies. Moira. What's wrong, sweetie? You don't like animal crackers? Q 
cutie, you are so fussy. There you go. Eat your hazelnuts. So we have almonds left, walnuts left, and hazelnuts. Let's see who comes in fourth place. So those look like nervous Nellies, baby, those two. Something has them going up the trees again. Sometimes a fox comes around or a coyote comes around and I will bolt out and chase them off. I'm their shepherd. Everyone is spooked. Something is out there. Cutie, if it comes, you run right into here. Those hazelnuts are so close to crossing the finish line. I'd say it's a couple nuts away from it dropping. Yep, it crossed the finish line. Hazelnuts take fourth place. There we go. Fifth place goes to the almonds. Well, we have Excitable Bill working on the last place walnuts. That would have been my last place too. I am not fond of that, unless it's in a cookie. Cutie, you have a withdrawal from cookies? I think you are, you're eating too healthy. Okay, everyone, that'll be the game uh, for the food challenge. Here's the results. Uh, first place goes to the peanuts, second place to pecans, third place to cashews, fourth to the hazelnuts, fifth to the almonds, last place, the walnuts. Now, for the pick four lottery, we had five, four, zero, and seven. Okay, happy Oons Day, everyone. Another silly one. We haven't done a food challenge in a while. Hope you enjoyed it. Good night.